After the promise of the road back has been shattered, we have the mark of Cain. This last print of the series is there's a return to this image of the killer about to murder who is looking at us. And historically, it of course signifies the sense that in fact, it is again and again that genocide and a whole subsequent century of genocide is with us, that it hasn't stopped. And that means that we're in the dilemma of having to choose once again. And what happens here in contrast to the first print where we could distance ourselves, we were spectators, we could, we could look at it against the horizon. Here we are completely in the scene. In fact, we are implicated by the look and the question coming from the mouth of this killer. We know what this killer is about to do. He's going to continue to murder, but he's turned to us as if saying, are you going to join me? Well, there's the big dilemma. Are we going to give ourselves over to cruelty or to compassion? And that's the essence of whether we are going to be human or not. Are we going to erase the individuality of the victim or are we going to exalt the individuality? This group of people on the other side, these are the victims escaping perhaps. We hope that's a note of hope. Perhaps not. Nonetheless, we identify with the yearning and these gestures that break the side of the print itself. So we're, we're with them, we see this wave moving that way, and yet we can't escape the gaze of this man. And we're no longer even pretending to be spectators. We are made participants in the images. We are implicated.